So how can information technology, the internet, mobile telephones, help alleviate poverty and improve the lives of people living in the developing world? These are the questions that delegates from across the world have come to Geneva, Switzerland to discuss for the World Summit of the Information Society Forum. Reliable information and communication technology can be essential for economic success, but that success isn't spread evenly if, as is the case, half the world's internet users are drawn from just 15% of the world's population. One initiative being launched at the Forum is the Broadband Commission for Digital Development, which aims to accelerate the rollout of high-speed internet across the developing world. Let us make no mistake, broadband is going to shape and define the 21st century. Indeed, the transformational power of broadband on people's lives and global economies is now a given. The challenge remaining is to extend these benefits to the majority of the world's citizens in order to enable them to unleash their creative potential to fully integrate in the information-driven global economy. Already the international community is committed by 2015 to meeting a whole swathe of targets, the famous Millennium Development Goals or MDGs, geared towards eliminating poverty and improving education and health. One guiding belief is that ICTs allow the people themselves to access government services and monitor progress towards meeting these goals. You know, the reason why UNDP is very much, you know, part of that process of WISIS and, uh, and its follow-up and is we are absolutely convinced that the, what we call, you know, the transformational power of ICT has to be harnessed to accelerate uh, the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals. ICT are the most effective way for citizens to monitor what their governments are doing. So what UNDP, you know, the reason why UNDP is very much interested in what we called e-governance is that we see a direct link between uh, the use of, uh, of ICT, the uh, access of citizens to information and their ability to monitor what governments are doing that, that is directly correlated with the quality of the services that are uh, provided. A blind faith in the merits of technology can be misplaced, as important as the rollout of ICTs can be the dissemination of the knowledge of how best to use them. We, we have to keep a certain humanism in all uh, uh, these aspects and sometimes we have the impression from the side of the civil society that we are replacing a human uh, possibilities by machines and uh, I'm not a trade unionist but I'm sure trade unionists could say that. And uh, we absolutely need to be sure that the human being is at the centre of the discussion. The WSIS process is set to run until 2015, which means that this week's event is very well placed, not just to examine what has been achieved so far, but to commit to what needs to be done in the future.